Well, would you look at that? The Tampa Bay Lightning and teams helping them out. They've made a trade with the Nashville Predators just a few minutes ago. They've acquired defenseman Philip Myers and forward Grant Mismatch. Man, what a fantastic name, Grant Mismatch. For Ryan McDonough. That was actually pretty quick, wasn't it? The rumors for Ryan McDonough potentially being on the move started up just a few days ago, and now the guy is indeed gone. Let's go over to the Tampa Bay Lightning and their website just to see what they have to say about this entire thing. So here it is, the Lightning Choir, Philip Myers, and Mishmash from Nashville. Ryan McDonough is officially a predator over here. Okay, that sounded really bad. You get what I mean, though. The Tampa Bay Lightning have acquired defensemen Myers and Mishmash for Ryan McDonough, Vice President and GM Julian Breesbaugh, announced today. It just kind of goes over the scouting report over here for both of these guys. What I really wanted to focus on, though, was this McDonough contract getting traded over to Philadelphia. McDonough was traded to the Lightning from the New York Rangers in 2018 and spent parts of five seasons in Tampa Bay recording 20 goals, 99 points, and a plus 74 rating in 267 regular season games. He was a key member of the team's back-to-back -back Stanley Cup championships in 2020 and 2021 and helped guide the Lightning to the Eastern Conference Finals and Stanley Cup semifinals in four of his five seasons. My goodness. Now that you say it like that, four out of five seasons... Fourth round, or excuse me, third round appearances, that is crazy, and the Stanley Cup Finals in three of five seasons. He ranks third all-time among Lightning defensemen in playoffs for games, assists, and scoring. Absolute legend, this Ryan McDonough is, but if you go over to McDonough and you take a look at what exactly it is he brings to the table, yes, he is a very capable top four defenseman who probably does have some top two potential still. He was not the top two guy on the left side in Tampa Bay because Victor Hedman exists, but you gotta remember that when Hedman was out, it was pretty much Sherlock and McDonough that was that top pairing and that did not look out of place. You have yourselves 26 points in 71 games played the recent season, and he carries a cap hit of $6.75 million a year till the end of 2026. That is a pretty significant deal, but it's one the Nashville Predators can honestly take on because they've got $18 million in cap space. This is a team that has the ability to spend some money, and for a guy like Philip Forsberg, whom you're trying to re-sign, it's not necessarily a matter of the fact that you have the dollars or if you don't, it's whether or not he wants to come back. And I think a move like this really goes out there and solidifies to a guy like Forsberg that, yeah, we really care about winning. We've got Ekholm. We've got Yossi. We have Jonte Fabro coming into his own over here. This is still a pretty good decor. Sure, it might not be as good as it was when it was Subban, Ellis, Ekholm, and Yossi, but, I mean, you've got McDonough now. So what else is there that you can ask for? Now, the players coming back are super interesting. You have, of course, Grant Mismash, who is a North Dakota forward turned Milwaukee admiral, and you also have Philip Myers. Now, Myers is the very interesting part about this deal because on his contract, he actually has a really unique case. If it's bought out, the Lightning will have a $617,000 credit next season, and then they'll owe $633,000 in 2023-2024. This is a really unique type of contract and I'm honestly not sure why it even is structured the way it is, where if you buy out this Philip Myers contract, you actually will get a cap credit, meaning you'll get more cap space by $617,000 if you buy the contract out. Now, again, there's somebody smarter than me that can probably go out there and tell me why that's the case, but all we know is that according to Friedman, that is the case. The Lightning are getting a player here whom, if they buy out, they get more cap space from rather than getting a penalty. At least, that's what it's like in the short term. In 2023-2024, they will have a little bit of a cap nick on their hands right there, $633,000. But Philip Myers was a guy that was originally a Philadelphia Flyer. He eventually got sent over to the Nashville Predators and really did not work out in the ways that they wanted him to. He actually was on loan to the Toronto Marlies in the AHL in that situation. And of course, Grant Mismash is a 2017 second round pick who had spent four seasons with the North Dakota Fighting Hawks before making his way over to the AHL where he had 12 points in 57 games played. Not necessarily the best player in the world, but he is a prospect that you can add to your system 
And for Philippe Myers, I mean, there is some significant value that I feel the Nashville Predators are giving up on. Although for Myers, it's quite evident that the timeline for his success is sort of running out. He's 25 years old now. He's a big right-handed defenseman that honestly looked pretty promising for the Flyers when he suited up for them earlier on in 2019-20. But after a few seasons, it hasn't really gone his way, and now he's gotten traded. So, all in all here, the Predators are trading away some assets that they probably don't see too much value in. Obviously, Mismash is a prospect that could become something if he does pan out, but I mean, it doesn't really look like it's going to be all too easy for him at this point. Philippe Myers is a guy that they definitely wanted to see more out of, but in return, they're getting Ryan McDonough. And McDonough, if you take a look at his contract, he also has a full no-trade clause, so he actually did have to waive it in order to come to Nashville. So this is a situation where you're going from one team to another. Both of these teams do not have state tax. Nashville is a pretty interesting place to live in, in general. You saw Barry Trotz just bought property there, so you can kind of see the overall desirability that it has when it comes to being a location for attracting players and, you know, just high status people like Barry Trotz, I guess. So McDonough waving his no trade to go over to Nashville. Interesting to me. You also have the players coming back that I feel really don't stack up to the value that Orion McDonough provides on the ice, but all in all, Tampa is just trading away McDonough because they need to free up that cap space. They're going to get Philippe Myers, whom they can buy out and actually get some cap credit, and they're getting a prospect that they'll just probably have sticking around in their farm system for a while. So talk to the comments either way. All your thoughts about this trade over here. It is Ryan McDonough to the Nashville Predators in exchange for Grant Mismash as well as Philippe Myers. I hope you enjoyed this Vrishaj Rolls 99 and... Bye.